guys, this is me from the Civil Stereo and today I'm going to speak about two decks that have been gifted to me and uh, well, uh, spoiler alert, there is some tarot snobbery in here so, uh, well, I want to say that uh, what I say here is not the one and only truth but yeah, I might be a tarot snob today so well, we're going to start with Silver Witchcraft Tarot we will continue with Tarot Lunalmond. So, well, starting with the Silver Witchcraft. Um, yeah, I have very mixed feelings with this deck. Uh, first of all, I love the format of the box. It is a, a normal took box, but it is like a very good quality. It has a matte finish, but this has this uh, gilded, well, not gilded, like silver plated edges that are very lovely and the the box itself is beautiful and uh, well spoiler alert everything good appears in the box okay i don't want to be so bad but really like this deck is kind of i don't know uh there are some cards in here that i can't believe that come from the same artist like really uh, well let's start for by showing the deck this is the full not the traditional imagery but yeah it this one's good then there's the magician the magician in this deck that looks like a student more of like you know traditional uh, magician is meant to be uh, someone who is in control of the elements uh, in the deck's defense I will have to I have to say that I have this since this morning and I haven't had a chance to look at the book so probably we can make some sense out of this and uh, well like it's its own deck it doesn't have why to follow a particular system so well we'll we'll see the high prices on the other side is quite a YSE or WSE sorry we have the Empress the Emperor The Earphant or the High Priest in this deck. Then we have the Lovers. And when I see this Lovers, again, Tarot Snobbery Alert. Uh, let me focus this. But when I see this Lovers, this is one of the cards that make me believe that there's no way the same artist has done everything because there are cards that are so incredibly wonderful so incredibly detailed and then we have this lovers in here that has of like no depth like they look like a hieroglyphic like you see in here like you know very 2d then we have the sharia uh, I guess that this chariot is actually a continuation of the lovers like there are, those are uh, Well, not, not exactly like the same guys, but they are like the, the next step I don't know very well what what the imagery tries to say in here. I Guess I'll have to dig deeper into the deck Then we have the strength Hermit The will Justice, the hanged man, the hanged man is hot, I have to give them that, death, okay, I kind of like, I like this card, temperance, the devil, it's not the first time I see the devil depicted as a mirror and this is a card that I really like, um, the design is not my favorite, but I like the concept of the devil in a mirror. It happens, it appears as well in Tile with Tarot, and this is a, a kind of imagery that is worth exploring. The tower, the star, the moon, which is like the moon is like the high priestess all over again, and the sun is like the high priest or the hierophant. The judgment, I'm going to be judgmental with this card and say it's tribal. Oh god, and the world. And now, 
starting with the minors. This is a wonderful card, the Ace of Cups or the Ace of Chalices, which is the same one that appears in the box. And it is an absolutely beautiful and stunning card and the detail of the water. Like there is like, this is very high quality digital art. And for this, when I see other cards, um, I don't know, I feel like awkward about this. The Lovers. Three of Cups, with the Lovers, sorry. Two of Cups, yeah. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups, another wonderful card. And I cannot believe that this the, the depth that you can see in this card, the level of detail, like, this card is so wonderful. And others are like, you know, as, as, as the lovers, like, awkward. This six of cups in here, seven of cups, another wonderful card. And as well, I love that this deck is like quite inclusive. And another example of wonderful art. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, and then we start with the court cards that feel, and I don't want to be like so bad, but I, the court cards seem like the artist said, I don't want to work more, because they're like so, like unbelonging to the deck, like so simple. When, when there are other cards that are so amazing. The guy in the dolphin. The guy in the dolphin. I don't know. It's something like. Okay. The dolphin. On the, on the one hand. Is like quite detailed. And then you see the figure. Uh, it's like meh. And this water compared to. The other water that appears in the deck. Like it makes it kind of inconsistent. Queen of cups. And the king of cups. Now, starting with the Pentacles, we have the Ace of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, Three, Four of Pentacles, another example of beautiful art, Five of Pentacles, I don't quite get this card yet, but yes, like another beautiful card, Six of Pentacles, and then again we move to Entirely undetailed and simple art with Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I have to give that the illumination in this card is amazing. And Nine of Pentacles. Another stunning card that... Like when you see other cards in the deck, the victim people... I don't know if you have noticed this or you have the same opinion, but you can see this. Awesome card, this detail, 10, now again, court cards, the, cor the court cards of the suit of pentacles are a little bit more detailed, for instance, this knight, but again, we have like, queen, simple, and king, simple, like it's, Weird. This Ace of Wands is fantastic and it's beautiful. We have the Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four. Five of Wands. This cat appears in every card. Six. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands, Nine of Wands in here, and Ten. And now, like, Lazy Cards, cards like Page, The Knight, The Knight is like, better but still feels unbelonging with the deck. Like, this artwork doesn't quite match. The Queen and the King. And now we have seen 
three wonderful aces and then we find ace of swords which looks like quite ah! two of swords example of beautiful card three of swords four of swords five Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords that looks again like the digital art is not like very well controlled. No, they belong like from different eras or, or something. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, this Ten of Swords, ah, again. And the court cards that are again quite simple. The queen and the king. And the backs are like this triple moon, like very on topic with the packaging and stuff. So, this deck, I don't really know what to think about it. Like, I have very mixed feelings with this deck because, as I said, like there are stunning cards and there are uh, cards and there are some cards that are like, mm, what's happening? So I don't quite know yet what to think about this deck, but I don't know. Uh, when you look at the box, do you expect an entirely different kind of artwork than the one that you that you actually find in the deck? Uh, the best of the deck is in the box. The the, the most mm, beautiful cards, and then the, the problem that I see here is that the kind of the, the rest of the deck is like inconsistent. So. Well, I am anyway. I want to give this deck a chance and see how I work with it, and perhaps I will come to love the deck with with everything it is. Uh, a lot of people speak very well about this deck, and I really wanted to to try and to have it. But uh, I would lie if I said that I am not quite disappointed with the results so far. Uh, well, the on a more Practical level, the card stock is uh, quite good, uh, pretty glossy as you can see in here. It is quite glossy for my taste, but I love the fact that the cards are borderless. And uh, well, the deck is wider than a normal deck, but still, like the cards seem to be with quality and uh, the borderless thing makes it uh, quite pretty. I love borderless decks. Now let's go with my first impressions of Carol Norman. So this is it. And what called my attention is that this is a tarot deck that includes some Lenormand symbology. So I am eager to try how this works. Uh, well, uh, this is a typical Oscar Bell deck with the multilingual thingy, white borders, Typical cardstock, quite good cardstock actually, like quite thick. And uh, well, basically that's it. So let's start by uh, looking at the cards. My first impressions with this deck have been quite positive. I mean, the artwork is not spectacular or anything, but it is uh, fairly pretty. And as well, what uh, calls me about this deck is the fact that the symbology uh, of Tarot on the Normand are um, in combination. So the backs of the deck are very beautiful. Perhaps you can see it in... The backs are like, in, I don't know, like this Damasco fabric or something. And well, this is the Fool with the traditional symbology of the Fool, the dog and all the stuff. The Magician. The high prices and uh, well, uh, now that I am seeking for this whole Lenormand combination of, of meanings, I see that she has the letter, she has the book, like uh, the high prices is a keeper of secrets, uh, she is also educated, she is smart, she mm, is good at um, communicating her 
her thing while at the same time she makes you try to seek it uh, yourself. So the Empress is Josephine and the Emperor is Napoleon. We have the Hierophant in here, which would be which probably is some Pope of, of the of that time we have the lovers, the Sharia, Justice, the Hermit, the Wheel, Strength, the Hanged Man, death and what I like is that this card shows actual death happening and as well, well I love the, the historical time uh, where this deck is set environmentally and well it is very beautiful in that aspect this is temperance this is a very biblical devil tower Stars, the moon. I really like how this deck like respects the symbology while giving its own twist. Sun, judgment, and a very biblical world as well. Now we have. Uh, the Ace of Cups with this Carob and as well we have two birds and uh, well one of the meanings of birds in the Norman are a couple Two of Cups Three of Cups Four of Cups Five of Cups and here we have the Fox <clears throat> Six of Cups, very sweet. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups, a very eloquent one. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. <clears throat> Page of One of Cups. Knight, Queen, and King. Now this Ace of uh, Pentacles, I really love it. I love Hermes in here or Mercury. I love uh, how it represents this wealth. The Two of Pentacles with a uh, Weeping Willow or it's Weeping Willow, Sad Willow. I don't know the translation, but yeah, a willow. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, which is the bird and, uh, and the bear, sorry, and uh, I like how this card can relate. Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. Six, very traditional one, but it's well pretty. Seven of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. I am still seeking how to relate the scythe as a Norman symbol in this particular card. Probably this has more to do with the harvesting part of the scythe than any other meaning. Nine of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles has the house and the dog. And so like all you have, this stability, this um, family, nucleus, the loyalty, the friends that the dog represents, so I like this card. Now we have the page of pentacles, knight, queen, and the king. Now wands, the ace of wands, the two of wands, the Three of Wands and the Key as a symbol again. 
Four of Wands has birds. Five of Wands. Six of Wands, so showing a letter. Seven of Wands. Now, Eight of Wands is an interesting one. It has crossroads, it has tree, mountain. Mm. I am still seeking how to interpret this card according with this combination of symbols. Nine of, well, the, the, the suit of wands has a lot to, to offer with this deck. The, you can see in here the nine of wands, which is mice, and the meaning kind of fits perfectly. And so does ten of wands with the whipping broom. Now the page or knave, the knight, the queen, and the king. And now the suit of swords, we have the ace of swords, two of swords representing the cross, three of swords, has sheep, has anchor, Interesting card, Four of Swords, Five, Six of Swords with actually the ship in the Norman, Seven of Swords, Eight of Swords, and I really like this card, Nine of Swords, and Ten of Swords. On the courts, the knight, the queen, and the king. So, in general, my first impressions of this deck are quite positive. I'm looking forward to working with it more in depth because I haven't used it still. But in general, I think it is an interesting combination that um, may have a lot to offer. I like the overall aesthetic of the of the deck in general. It is quite beautiful. It's pleasant and traditional, and as well, well, uh, there is like two many symbology in this deck. Uh, there is like a lot of biblical symbology. There is Roman symbology, tarot symbology. So. I think that it can be an interesting addition to my collection. And uh, well, this have been my reviews of today. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you have a great day, rest of your day. And as well, if I don't see you before, have a very uh, happy holidays, Christmas, you celebrate, whatever. And uh, see you soon. Bye.